sparring missiles in the skies over southern Israel. Hamas rockets being taken out by Israeli ones. A typical morning in the town of Stirot, two miles from Gaza. So we've just come to Stirot to try and get a view of Gaza with reports that the Israeli ground operation might be starting. Not been able to verify that. But as we got here, there was the sound of the siren, then the Iron Dome rockets taking off, and then big explosions directly above us as those rockets intercepted the Hamas rockets and uh, this fell out of the sky, a bit of shrapnel, which is probably a bit of one of the rockets that's left after the interception by the Iron Dome. On the street, soldiers on guard after reports of Hamas infiltrators. Before more rockets came in, the atmosphere here, say volunteers, is one of constant fear. What do people here yeah. say to you? What, how do they feel? They're scared. They don't uh, go out from the house. Come, 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 come. Fear and grief after Saturday's horrendous attacks. Uh, a lot of people killed. Those friends killed. They know it now, a few days after. And uh, it's very, very sad thing. Today, Britain's Foreign Secretary James Cleverley was racing to the shelters too, in the town of Ofakim, which saw some of the worst attacks over the weekend. But I was reminded of the fact that whilst this was an unusual, in, in fact, the first time I've had to experience that directly, for the Israelis living in that part of the country, this is not only a uh, sometimes a daily occurrence, but many times uh, during the day. And it's a stark reminder of the uh, threat that many, many Israelis live under. Israel is a country on edge. In the north, there were sirens with tensions remaining high over the border with Lebanon. The crisis has brought together two bitter rivals in Israeli politics, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and opposition leader Benny Gantz in a new emergency government. It would have been unthinkable just days ago. Israel is gearing up for its ground offensive in Gaza, mustering tanks and armor. It is a commander's working to a plan. We've been striking Gaza for a couple of days already, very hard. Every place where we know there are Hamas activists or Hamas leaders, we attack. The IDF is working well. It is doing things accurately and strongly. 300,000 troops have been mobilised. It is just a matter of time before they go into Gaza now. Facing an enemy that ignores the rules of war and has proved itself more capable than ever before 